Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Odd Taxi episode number 5. Alright, the previous episode, it was one of the best episodes, it's barely the fourth episode, it's just a start, but it was definitely really amazing the way they showed us the whole episode through only one character's monologuing. That was basically it. And it was just him talking about his experiences, everything about his life and all. And in the end, we actually get to see how, like, you know, what happened with him and how he is like this. You know, the, the way he is now, it's kind of like, you know, like, you know, freaking out and everything. And it's like basically trying to kill uh, Odokawa. So like, you know, like the story behind that and everything. And it was just so well done. Like it was basically one character talking throughout the whole episode. And it's, it was entertaining as hell and uh, i i usually i really love these type of formats and it's great that all taxi did this and i have to say like uh I, when i started this anime I, I knew that it was good anime because it had some like, you know it, it, it is very highly rated i think like in my anime list it's like 8.8 .8 or something 8.7 and uh like you know that's huge and uh, i was like okay this is really going to be good but I'm really impressed like uh, like if I had to rate this I'd give it a complete nine you know and let's see by the end of it how I really like you know how this show really goes does it even exceed my expectation even more like I'm, I'm quite looking forward to this so yeah and uh, right okay uh, let's get started this episode number five okay before we start uh, like, you know like there might be some weird background noise because that's because like it's raining from like you know uh, from the morning and uh, like you know uh, sound might come out like it might feel weird the background noise there might be a little background noise i apologize for that but yeah anyways that's just this so let's get started this is episode number five of odd taxi and <laughs> let's see what this episode brings so without further ado let's get started all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start this video okay so here's the countdown three two one Go. One thing I really like about this is it's not just the main character. Like, you know, like usually the way animes go is that obviously we have other stories except, like, you know, which are not related to the main character. But usually we see everything through like what can i say like you know like what's happening uh what can i say like beside what's happening usually what's happening beside the main character that's how we see everything and but here like the way they're telling the stories like for example the previous episode it was it was nothing related to the main character it was just a guy tanaka you know, telling his story and telling the thing that he went through and why he's trying to kill Odakawana. But then in the end, we got to see that, okay, like this is how he's actually related to the main character. But before that, it was like a completely new story we were seeing. And it's kind of nice to actually see everything from other person's people's perspective as well. And like, there are like multiple stories like happening parallelly. I feel like. You know, there's this whole thing with Shirakawa, Tanaka, uh, the, you know, the Dobu, all that stuff. Okay, let's see. Don't call me an idol. Oh, is this Odo? Odo God's taxi, okay. Damn, okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, the car. Hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing she's, uh, he's picking up those two items. Oh, is that girl? No, is it? Yeah, it's, it's idol girl, isn't it? Right? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's idol girl. Okay. 
Ahorita. <laughs> All right. Soul food. Food that's yeah. All right. Okay, that's. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, it's, it's an other girl, isn't it? Yeah. What? Again? Fried chicken? Wait, what? Wait, what was that? Oh, she's... Oh, that's up. Other person, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Like, it's to go back and forth. Oh, Tento or public bath. Okay, that's the girl. Who was with AG, obviously, in the previous episode, we saw her. Did he recognize her from the picture? There you go. Yeah. Ah, you. Yeah. <laughs> Authentic bird. <laughs> no, she's not later. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Whoa, that's like a... Purpose. Um, uh, yeah, but she doesn't show her face, so, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, obviously. Oh, wait. Okay, I'll have to check this out again later on. Wait, again? Oh boy! Oh no! It's Tanaka! Oh my god! <laughs> Chance. Pure carbon gemstone, okay. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Business uh, business strategy. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah, because he knows them now. 
Hmm. Oh. Will I get money for that? Um. <laughs> Oh, yeah. all right. Oh my god. All look the same. But that's... Mm. Well... What? Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Ah. Uh. I don't think that's what he's trying to do here. Oh god, he he wants to oh boy. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, this wedding. Oh my god. Alright, he's back to his house. This is his house, isn't it? Oh god, now he knows where he lives. Great. Oh, wow. He pinned it to his map now. Damn, the sound effect! Oh god! Whoa. Oh, Gorik is here! Wait, didn't he go missing or something? <laughs> yeah, but it's different. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that that thing. Okay. Damn. Well, uh, we kind of guessed that. Okay. Oh, there you go. So that was not a mistake. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, he's, you know, he's thinking about other people as well. He seemed like a very nonchalant guy, but now he's... Two people asked me to meet. Wait, who? Shirakawa? What? what? Oh, Dobu. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> you seem to kill him and throw him in the water or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, he needs all the information. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, he's going straight, straight to the point. All right. Come on. Yeah, you, you said you'll answer one question. Oh, boy. There you go. Oh, my God. This is what I was... Oh. All right. It's, uh. Mostly correct. Uh. Oh, wait. Then... Wait, who? Hmm. Uh, damn. All right, fine. You can have your information. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Wait! Wait, so it really was? Wait a minute. Oh my god, I have to check this portion again. Well, obviously, like, oh god. Hey, <laughs> Etienne. What was the name of God? Ah! Wait, she's taking pictures. What the hell? <laughs> That's what why. Like, you know, don't do what you're not accustomed to do. This is weird. She's looking at her phone. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh. What what's that? All right. Nah. Whoa. Whoa, what's up with her? God. Ah. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it's shit. Yeah, the trip. Oh no, the man, okay. Boy. Uh, I can't stop. <laughs> Oh god. Whoa. This girl. Oh, this guy. Is, is he the one who said that? I'll, yeah, oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna catch him. Ah, uh, wow. Oh, I will do this. I'll step up, you know? Yeah. My God. Damn, the editing. The editing. What? <laughs> What's... Oh my god, he's going full out. <laughs> Did he go viral? I think so. Yeah, those said that. Together, yes, together we'll win. <laughs> oh boy. Together. Wow. I have a lot to talk about this episode. This episode is... <laughs> uh, it's a bit above my salary, so... Oh wait, what was that? Nah, I, I prefer cash. Yeah. Yeah, she's not buying it. What did it? No. Oh my god. Whoa, what? Never do this. What the hell? Wow, this. <laughs> god. A few things got, I think, kind of cleared out. I'll have to check a few potions again. 
Ugh. One thing, when the manager, oh no, not manager, Dobu, Dobu said something like, so the boss's girl is within one of th these girls and showing the picture. So that, so does that mean that it really is that girl? Who, like, I, I said in the beginning episode where I saw the CCTV, you know, girl. Then, okay, I'm gonna talk about this. Is that the end? First thing here, this episode, when it began and when uh, the cat uh, uh, girl, the, the uh, I forgot her name, uh, the Blackford cat girl she and the manager came in and they went um i was like okay so maybe i'm actually wrong because i thought that i was wrong like you know my, one thing that i said in the first episode is that one of the idol girls uh, especially the black furred cat girl is probably the girl who is missing from the cctv camera i kind of made that correlation and when it started this episode when those two like you know manager and the cat girl came in uh, i was thinking like okay so maybe i'm wrong because Odokawa did not say anything looking at her, you know? So I was like, okay, so maybe I was wrong because if, if Odokawa really was the one who took her, you know, in her taxi, uh, then, then she, he would be able to recognize her. So I thought like, okay, like that, so that, that, that goes out. Like, you know, my, like, you know, my initial suspicion, that's not correct because Odokawa is saying nothing about this girl. And then, okay, let me check that section again where um, the manager, no, not the manager, sorry, when Dobu, just a sec. Okay, where is that portion? Okay, here it is. Like, he asked me to sell uh, it uh, to, as a PV. Okay, here it is. Dobu says that, does, does that mean one of them is the boss's classmate's daughter? There you go. Oh, boss's classmate's daughter. Sorry, I'm saying boss's daughter. Sorry, uh, boss's classmate's daughter. So yeah, so that really does. Okay, so that means that I was correct, wasn't I? But it's still a speculation. You know, like uh, the Blackford cat girl. So she really is the girl who's missing. So then why did Odokawa did not recognize her? Because like, you know, it was said that this girl took Odokawa's taxi. So he would at least recognize her, I, I thought, but I'm kind of confused here and I'm sure we'll get more answers, but I think that it really is that that means like, you know, like the girl who was caught on the CCTV camera, the girl who's missing is one of the girls here, Misty Chris girls. Now, obviously, Dobu doesn't know how that girl looks like who's missing. That's why he said that does that mean that one of them is boss's daughter because he does not know, but we know because we have seen the cctv camera footage didn't we it was it was like it was a blackford cat girl so like we can tell that oh this is this this is the girl most probably uh the blackford cat girl is the same girl who's missing so like you know like i think that's probably it i'm not sure but i'll wait a few more episodes i'm sure we'll get more information and then i can pinpoint uh if i was correct or not but anyways uh all right okay that's one thing that i wanted to say here and uh, okay another thing is when dobu said uh, not dobu sorry when odukawa said that i have taken a person like you know uh, in my taxi in, in front of the studio okay this one um was it uh, was it was it the the Blackford cat girl, because as I said, like, you know, like there's this thing that was like every, everyone was saying that the girl took Odokawa's taxi. So maybe she took Odokawa's taxi and came to the studio and they're saying that she's pretty new. You know, like the manager also said that she's pretty new in this business. I'm not sure, but uh, again, I'll have to, we'll have to wait for this. Uh, I'm sure we'll get more answers to our questions. Another thing that got cleared out here, and I really did not want that to actually happen, which was the whole thing with Shirakawa. 
Now, as I said in third episode, I think it was third episode, yeah, third episode. I really wanted to believe that Shirakawa really did like uh, Odokawa because, um, but and she really sounded genuine in a lot of ways. But as we can see, like it was basically um, Dobu who told her to go and talk with Odokawa. And uh, I kind of thought that, like, you know, I kind of suspected that because obviously, as we kind of saw a little glimpse before as well, Shirakawa's, like, you know, that fur and Dobu, they were like, you know, they, those two were shown in the picture. And Odokawa also saw that. And uh, the whole thing with the missing, um, you know, uh, uh, medications, that. And, like, you know, like, I, I kind of said, I, I remember I, I said in the one of my previous episodes that maybe Shirakawa took it and was selling it to Dobu. But then, like, you know, like, I was still kind of suspicious about it. And I also kind of thought that, okay, probably that is also the reason why she is talking with Odokawa. Because the way, like, you know, she was interacting with him in, initially, it seemed as if she had some other goal. But then third episode kind of made me change my mind a little bit because when I saw both of them talk in that park, that park scene, I really thought that, okay, maybe I was wrong, you know, maybe I'm kind of suspecting her too much <sighs> because she sounded really genuine at that moment. And uh, I don't know. Now, here's the thing. Um... <sighs> I think like th this is how it went. Um, obviously, Shirakawa knew Odokawa from because he like you know frequented the clinic of Goriki, and uh, <clears throat> now she was taking the medications and selling it to Od uh, Dobu because of her money trouble, as Dobu said. And uh, she like you know as Dobu knew that Shirakawa knew Odokawa uh, after the whole incident with the camera that happened. She he must have told Shirakawa to go and talk with Odokawa, you know, and interact with him and keep an eye on him, something like that most probably. And Shirakawa did that. And obviously, like, because of that, like, you know, they interacted and everything. And that's why, like, you know, like, I'm sure she kind of mellowed out by the third episode as she genuinely talked from the bottom of her heart in that episode. And uh, obviously she does not, I doubt, I don't think she likes Odokawa in that way. But it's kind of sad actually thinking about it, you know, because uh, I don't know, like I, it seemed as if, like, you know, when Odokawa was talking, the way Odokawa acted in front of Shir Shirakawa, it seemed like I thought that, yeah, maybe she, he really did start liking her little by little. And because, you know, like a lot of things kind of showed us that the, the first thing was when, like, you know, like when he, when Dobu kind of caught him in the taxi and Shirakawa said that I'll be waiting for you in the park. Like, you know, Odokawa was like hurrying and like, you know, she was very, he was very like, you know, agitated and quickly went to, to the park. That's one thing. Another thing in this episode, obviously, he kind of got mad at Dobu because of him kind of technically using Shirakawa but that's another thing another thing is i think i think i remember when he was talking with eiji about Sh uh, shirakawa like the way he interacted with eiji and talked with eiji about shirakawa it seemed like you know he genuinely was kind of starting to like her now like this is the thing actually like i don't think like uh, odokawa had any kind of what can i say feelings for shirakawa in the beginning but basically what happened here is this situation, you know, Dobu doing this kind of made her, him, like, you know, his changed his feelings because obviously Shirakawa and he interacted and suddenly getting to know that this is just uh, like, you know, just, just uh, what can I say? Like this is not real. I'm sure that that must hurt for him. And this is what I have, uh, like, you know, I, I don't like and i'm not sure what's going to happen in the future but i don't know like it's really sad like i really did not want this to happen i really genuinely wanted no like because in this uh, uh, like you know anime there were a few things which were basically false alarm you know as it went on like the whole thing with like dobu kidnapping the girl was a big false alarm which we were like you know we, we thought that it was dobu who kidnapped her but it was false alarm and there were a few other things like this as well 
and I really wanted this, like you know, this incident, this whole suspicion on Shirakawa thing, to also be a false alarm. Unfortunately, that's not how it is. Because Do Dobu basically said here that yeah, it was me who told her to go interact with you. <sighs> ah, God. Anyways, um, yeah, like these are the few things that I wanted to really talk about. And uh, <clears throat> okay, another thing. Another really interesting thing about this episode. <laughs> what we see here is that guy, that panda guy, you know? Not only the panda guy, Eiji as well. It's funny that the girl who was showing Eiji the uh, video of the panda, uh, not panda, why am I saying panda, hippo, sorry. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sure you are confused, like, who is this panda bitter? The hippo guy, sorry. <laughs> you know, the, the hippo, when, uh, uh, I forgot his name, anyways, um, when, uh, there's so many names, I'm kind of, like, getting mixed up. The girl who was with AG, you know, when he, when she, like, you know, showed AG the video, we were seeing how the hippo guy was kind of saying that, oh, I'm ca I'll catch him, like, you know, he wanted to become viral. So, he is putting up a front in front of everyone, claiming something that is completely false. Funny enough, the person who <laughs> the girl was showing this to, AG, is in a similar case here. He's also putting up a front in front of her, sh doing something which he is not accustomed to, and he, you know, he, he's acting basically here, putting up a mask. And like, <laughs> Like, it's real sad, like, the hippo guy, uh, yeah, hippo, sorry, the hippo guy, the hippo, he basically did this to become viral. Now, like, this really shows, like, I'm really, like, you know, like, this really shows the whole, not only YouTube, but this whole social media thing. You know, the, the whole thing of pretending to be someone who we are actually not. Just to become, like, you know, someone relevant in this huge world. Like, nowadays, like, it's basically that, you know, like, especially the online world, the social media world, where each and every person is snapping pictures, putting it on whatever, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, like, you know, all the other social medias and all. And like, you know, seeing that, oh, this much like, this is how many like I got. Sometimes they kind of act a little bit rash. They do like say some kind of extremely controversial thing and they become viral for a few days. Like either people bash them completely or they like, you know, like uh, kind of, uh, what can I say? Like, you know, worship them. That's basically what happens. Either way you can go, like, you know, like, like in both ways you can become viral. You can do something really negative and become viral. You can do same something you kind know, of very positive and become viral. And usually people prefer the other method, negative method, because that's easier. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, yeah, and this this shows you know like like th this really reminded me of that. Like nowadays it's like a race each and every day on the social media, like who got how many likes, who got how many, like, you know, uh, retweets, stuff like that. How many people watched my stuff, like, like, uh, I'm, I'm also kind of the same in a way if you look at it that way, because like, you know, YouTube, like I'm kind of involved in this. I always try to like, you know, find some way to actually get more people to watch my video and like you know like stuff like that like it, it's the same and it, it really reminded me of this and this is relatable as hell like you know this whole thing the whole, the thing that uh, the hippo guy did is basically that he claimed something that he himself knows that he has no way he can do that he says that i'm going to capture him you know he became viral people are like and, and the whole thing like you know like people love one thing i've seen this because this is one thing people really love, that we together will do something. These type of motivational things. The thing he basically did is like, he was like, okay, like I've seen this guy and I think his injustice cannot, like, you know, <laughs> like he's doing some really bad things. I'm definitely going to catch him. And not only me, you guys, you guys, if you guys, like, you know, see him anywhere or something, 
like let us know let everyone know we can make a difference together we will capture him this we thing is extremely powerful and that's what he basically does to claim something which he himself knows that he won't be able to do ever i'm sure he thinks something like this will happen he, i'm sure he thinks that people will probably get to see dogu and like you know inform him or something and uh, like you know post it on social media and either like you know he'll either like you know go and uh, inform the i don't know proper authorities and dogu like you know if dogu gets captured he'll say that yeah we did it and he'll become more viral and i'm sure he is trying to do it like this i'm sure he thinks that nothing will happen to me i'm in my like you know room uh, sipping coffee nothing will happen to me <laughs> i wonder what will happen if dogu really gets pissed off at this and actually tracks him down <laughs> you know actually tracks him down and like you know comes in front of him and stands in front of him and says that hey punk what the hell are you doing you know you want to get smashed <laughs> you want to get beaten <laughs> I wonder what's I doubt he thinks something like this is going to happen. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I doubt it because I doubt Dobu is going like you know Dobu is taking him seriously even. I I don't think Dobu is even taking him seriously. So, I doubt that's going to happen but <laughs> like damn. And uh, that's why they say you know like do not do or say something that you probably won't be able to do because now he's being like you know worshiped he's been saying that oh this guy he's so great. But I don't know like one misstep and everything will come crashing down on his head he'll get dissed by everyone he'll get hated on he can't even go outside but in a way that's also kind of becoming viral so i guess he gets what he wants you know he wants to, he basically wants to become viral and that's what he's getting so i don't know like is it really worth it you know like to get like you know, to make people like, like to make everyone your enemy and get viral is it really worth it i don't know but yeah, anyways, that's that was one thing. Another thing is the whole thing with AG here. He again, he's again, he's kind of doing the same thing uh, that uh, the hippo guy is doing. But his scope, uh, what do you call it? Scope? Yeah, uh, it's a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. he, he he's just doing this for one person. This guy he wants to become viral in front of everyone. The hippo guy he wants just to be good in front of a certain person. And that that is this girl. Now. Here's the thing, again, the question, is it really worth it? What did he do? He took out a loan. <sighs> like, why even? I really don't understand, like, he himself must have realized that he cannot keep this going, you know? This is just one dinner and he has to take a loan. He's saying that we're going to go on a vacation. He'll take up out another loan with that and like looking at it the girl isn't even interested in him i'm sure he understands that he can i'm sure he he can look at someone and say that oh this guy is really interested or this person is not really interested in me i'm sure he he has that amount of basic what can i say comprehensive power i'm sure he has it but you know as they say like these kind of things make you blind and he he's putting on that mask where which which will be a source of constant pain for him in the future like i don't know like is is he really but as i said like you know it, it kind of makes you blind so that's probably the reason why he's doing this like if if, if a rational person looks at it from a third perspective like i'm saying this like like <laughs> Like, you know, I'm not like, you know, like I, I'm, I'm saying this because I'm looking at it from a uh, outside perspective. So like, obviously, like when this happens to someone, as I said, they, they kind of become blind to everything. Same thing must have happened to AG. I'm sure like if someone else was doing something like this and AG was the third person there, he would have also said something like this. You know, he would have also said that, oh, what the hell? She's basically, like, you know, you know like, not going for your money and, like, you know, like, why are you doing this? I'm sure he would have also said this. But because he's the person in question, he's blind now. He cannot see anything. It's like tunnel vision. He, he's only looking at her. He's like, oh my God, there's at least someone who really likes me. You know, 
uh, even if it's for my like, you know money but still someone likes it my, my imaginary money whatever you know and he is putting up a, a what do you call it mask a persona whatever and doing this now like i don't know like he should really stop and think that for how long can i keep this going you know if he really was rich go ahead it's your money you can do whatever the hell you want to you know like it won't be a problem even but he's not rich he like he's trying to pretend to be a person who he is not and it's really sad in a way to actually think that like you know like this, this is this is not an anime like this like stuff like this happens in the real world as well like as i said these type of things are extremely relatable like maybe somewhere in this world at this moment that i'm talking there's a certain person like this ag who's kind of getting in, in a similar situation to this i'm sure there is you know who is sitting in front of a girl and pretending to be a person who is actually not so like i don't know like these type of things like i really hope he stops when like you know and quick quickly and he actually realizes that i cannot like you know advance further than this like you know this this is not possible and he actually like you know realizes before he actually i don't know like takes another low because like 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 i have a bad feeling about this because he like i'm sure then a time will come when the bank will even stop giving him any loan and what will he do then and you know i i really think like and i really hope that he stops before that realizes before that like i don't know like go to odokawa talk with him you know i'm sure odokawa will say something about this and like stop you and like at least give you some advice but not not all the power like just take any other of your friends like you know, maybe just go to that uh, the, the the lady from the the place where he like you know he eats dimes that lady you know she can go just go he can just go there and talk with her but yeah he's as i said like you know, he's kind of blind now he's, he's not looking at anything and it's just what's happening and the girl as, as well like <laughs> he she made she did not make any effort even she was just like sitting like you know clicking on her phones and like like i was shocked when it was actually like you know when uh, i think ag said something like oh i i don't have that amount of money she was like oh really and she kind of like you know looked away and uh, like th that was really shocking like it, it's as if like she she's not even trying you know she's not even trying and uh, i don't know and like looking at her it it like you know like she when she was talking about anything you know what do you call it that's involving money she she's so like you know happy and everything and then suddenly when like you know it actually comes to something that what, what do you call it uh ag was what can i say like some normal stuff she like you know sits back takes out his phone and starts clicking now i don't know like i really think that yeah ag should stop and actually look at what he's doing but i doubt he's going to do that like, like at this moment i think he is a little bit too far gone and uh, i don't know how this will end i like you know i thought in, in the previous episode i kind of thought this girl was really kind of interested in him you know but obviously because but i, I was finding a little bad for like you know for the situation because the like you know ag gave a wrong information the whole thing with his salary and stuff i think and uh, but i did not think it was as the situation is really like this you know like where she basically is really not interested in him at all and he's like you know trying to act tough trying to act you know like like someone who he really is not and okay one thing uh let me check out the loan bill loan a hundred thousand yen interest rate 18 percent annual rate 18 percent 18 percent 18 percent late charge annual rate 20 percent next payment due date 2021 tender 
total payments too. Oh my god, he's screwed. He's screwed. How the hell will he even Taco Taco loans? <sighs> like, yeah, I really feel bad for him. Like, this is like two person I feel really bad for in this episode. One is Odokawa and one is Eiji. And Odokawa is like a genuine, I think, like obviously Shirakawa is a really nice person. Like, I know that. I've seen that. You know, like, and I think obviously think that Shirakawa is doing this basically because of the whole thing with, um, you know, Dobu, Dobu, you know, uh, paying out her, her loans and she, she, she has to do it. And like, Shirakawa is a genuinely nice person. I, I also really like her in a way. And as I said, like, you know, she, she seems really genuine, really nice. And it was good that, like, you know, like, Odokawa is, like, you know, like, Odokawa is actually uh, the person who, like, you know, she is actually interacting with. And, uh, like, and I doubt even, like, you know, uh, like, you know, if, if, what can I say? Like, if Odokawa was in Eiji's place, I doubt he would give any time, <laughs> like, you know, he, he wouldn't even, like, do the whole thing where, like, you know, put out false information. He wouldn't even do that. So, like, in a way, it's really nice to see, you know, like, you know, like, that Odokawa is actually the person who is kind of involved with Shirakawa here. And I still have a little hope. I don't know. I still have a little hope of the situation kind of mending itself, the whole thing with Shirakawa and Odokawa. Be the reason behind that is because Shirakawa is a really nice person. That's why I still have a little hope. So, I really think, I really, like, you know, wish that, you know, like, something productive happens like you know not these kind of like you know like uh deceiving someone that shiraka is actually trying to do but yeah i hope that it really comes to light and shiraka actually like you know acknowledges it and says that you know like apologize for it and then like they can again start anew or something like you know like genuinely like they talk with each other but anyways that's the whole thing with shirakawa and odokawa and this thing with the, like, you know, AG, like, I feel bad for him because of a completely different reason. I feel genuinely bad for him because he, he's basically screwing himself over. That's what he's doing. For a person who is not even interested in him. And as I said, like, you know, if there were a few other exceptions to this situation, I could have accepted it in a way. Uh, one exception, as I said, if he really was rich, I would have been like, okay, like, you know, like, it's your own money. You can do whatever the hell you want that's your own thing you know uh, that if another exception is if the girl genuinely liked him you know if the girl genuinely liked him and was really interested in him not on his monetary things i would i would have been like okay like all right like you can pretend like this and then like you know if ag actually says that yeah i'm not that rich and this is what who i am i i would have been like okay so excuse me i would have been like okay so yeah like she genuinely likes him and i don't know all right another thing i have to check this out again mm. the the moment when uh the manager i kind of remi got reminded it i kind of forgot about that scene when the manager was talking with that girl who is with ag all right here it is uh, he says that you know you're charming and innocent. You've got a cute face. Uh, don't I uh, my uh, agency agency strategy? Okay, that. Okay, exchanging messages with old dudes is exhausting too. Okay, I can kind of understand what's happening now. So basically, it's not even her that means. I, that scene kind of left my mind for a moment there. Okay, I've been talking with the pretense, like, no, but, but, like, no, like, um, I thought that she's actually doing. So it's not even her that's interested. It's actually, you know, the idol agency. Like, are they trying to do something like. I don't know. Oh my god, this is, this is a bigger thing going on in, in, in the background now. It's not as simple as I thought it was. So it's basically like okay now now the guy kind of tells her to yeah he says that hey and she stops so 
she's not genuinely like you know neither his money nothing she's interested in nothing about age oh my god that's even worse <sighs> oh god so yeah there's something going on in the background here like all this time i've been talking ta thinking about that the girl really like you know is kind of interested only in his money and it turns out he's not even she's not even interested in that it's basically she's doing this because the manager said him said her to and one thing i kind of noticed here the manager okay the girl says exchanging messages with old dudes is exhausting too it's not only him that means it's not only ag there's i'm sure there's other people as well all right that more makes more sense now the previous episode makes more sense now why they were following them you know the manager and there's another person there they were actually following ag and her okay i realized it now this late but yeah there's something bigger going on around here okay boy oh boy <laughs> oh my god and here's another thing um Odokawa listened to that whole conversation. Another thing, Odokawa knows this girl in a way because Eiji told her, uh, told him, showed him the photo, and that's why he said that, oh, I think I've seen you before. So, and Odokawa also heard about this in this, uh, you know, like here after this scene, when he says that, hey, and Odokawa is kind of like, you know, like they show us Odokawa's face for that for a moment there. Now, I don't know, I, I really think that Eiji, if Eiji goes to Odokawa and if they meet again and if Odokawa like, you know, shows him the picture again, I'm sure Odokawa will recognize her now. And I'm sure Odokawa will <clears throat> warn Eiji or do something, you know, say that, okay, like, you know, this girl and the, this, is, and this person here, like the, the manager and like, this, this type of conversation was happening, you should probably, like, you know, be a little bit more, um, you know, uh, what can I say? Like, you should kind of like look out for what they're actually trying to do. So, yeah, like, I don't know. Hopefully, something like that happens. But, yeah. Okay. And that was it. Damn, I've been talking for a long time. Like, these episodes have a lot of things to actually discuss about and uh yeah so a lot of things happened in this episode again like, again like this, like this anime is really fantastic i'm really loving this like like so many things to actually talk about and think about like each and every episode has so much things so many things okay uh so basically what happened here is like a few of my uh, misconceptions got kind of kind of answered uh one thing is that i i think i'm correct by saying that the uh, boss's daughter uh, like you know boss's friend's daughter is actually one of the idol girls the the black furred cat girl i think i think that's probably it i think i'm kind of correct in that we'll wait for it and like you know see what where this goes that's first thing that kind of got into uh like you know we got to know second thing the whole thing with shirakawa it was not actually her you know it was like you know dobu was actually telling it her to interact with him to keep an eye on him or something now here's the thing here like i generally think Sir shirakawa is a really nice person so i really hope this kind of like you know resolves itself as time goes on because odokawa also knows what's happening so i really hope they talk with each other and like this misunderstanding can like you know they kind of like, you know get cleared out and they really have a genuine friendship and like you know like because i i really think that odokawa really likes her in a way and uh, she, he's really concerned about her and the way Shirakawa was also talking to Odokawa like, you know it, it felt really genuine so I, I feel really bad if by the end of this anime like you know like things really do not work out between them I don't know but we'll have to wait for it and like at least like talk and like, become friends like I at least like I really hope that at least happens but you know like these type of misunderstandings go away and uh, like these two are the main things that happened a few new uh, information like a you know, few new things came up the first thing the whole thing with ag taking out loans because of a person the whole thing with the manager telling like you know like I, I'm, I'm sure that the manager told like you know the idol girl to do this kind of things i'm not sure why i'm sure we'll get more answers and like you know he like now ag is taking out a loan and he said that 
and invited her to a vacation and stuff like that more problems and he's going to screw himself over if he goes like this and there's this other guy the hippo guy who is claiming that he wants to defeat um dobu and he is he will be the like you know the beacon of justice or whatever the hell and he wants our help you know to capture him and he wants like you know that that's how he's trying to get viral and stuff now who knows maybe dobu will really i don't know i i don't think dobu really cares so <laughs> so who knows what's going to happen so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to odd taxi episode number five so uh if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys so thank you guys for watching and this was another fantastic episode oh i forgot to mention uh, the guy who's stalking him uh, tanaka that's that was also another thing he he, he got to know uh, where he lives now like damn scary stuff <laughs> and uh, I, I really hope nothing like you know bad happens i'm not sure but anyways we'll have to wait for that so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of odd taxi so until then goodbye and have a nice day